So guys, it's that time of the month again for another Milking Battlefield video. So for today's Battlefield 6 video, we're going to talk about why Battlefield 6 needs to be a successful game. Because if it's not successful, then that'll be another blow to the series. And that's the last thing Battlefield needs right now. But we've already brought this up at least 100,000 times already, so I'm not going to get into that. Instead... We're just going to get right to the point, which is Battlefield 6 needing to be a successful game. It needs to be a good game. It needs to be a hit. It needs to sell well. It needs to be a good competitor in gaming again, especially when Call of Duty, its biggest competitor, doesn't have a proper competitor at the moment. And Call of Duty having a proper competitor at the moment would definitely be nice, and it would force Activision to get off their asses and make that game's multiplayer good again. So, until that happens, let's talk about why Battlefield 6 needs to be successful. Which, speaking of COD, you see, if there's one thing Battlefield is apparently going to do when it comes to attempting to be successful again, it's copy Modern Warfare in the sense of being a reboot of some type, as well as just being titled Battlefield. Similar to how Modern Warfare 2019 is just called Modern Warfare, Battlefield 6 could potentially just be called Battlefield. Just simply Battlefield. Because if the first game wasn't called that, then they might as well call the newest game that. Because the opportunity is there, so might as well take advantage of it while it's there. While it is available. So, now that it seems they're taking advantage of this opportunity by copying Modern Warfare 2019. Which, hey, copying only helps games in a lot of cases. I mean, that's how so many franchises exist. If that's what's going to help Battlefield. If COD and Battlefield copying each other is what helps both out. Then, you know what? So be it. Copy it, but do it in a way that's good and benefits the series. And if this is what helps, might as well. Which is why the first thing that they should do, which has been rumored and leaked, and is probably going to happen anyways because this is basically the standard when it comes to multiplayer games now, and is to be expected, I'm sure, crossplay. Just have it have good crossplay. You guys can figure it out, I'm sure. I don't need to explain it. Just good crossplay. That's it. Crossplay between different platforms and just make it work well and let people use whatever keyboard and mouse setup as well as controller setup they want. I mean, it's going to have custom brow um, browsers, so, you know, pe people are just going to choose the settings either way. They'll probably put in all sorts of different settings that people can fuck around with. That That's one thing that they need to do to be successful. Another thing is to have just a good amount of content there at launch. All sorts of multiplayer content that's just going to really be full of depth and is actually replayable in other words just bring back conquest how it used to be and uh, there we go from there also rush should return because that wasn't in battlefield 5 i didn't play that game but that's something i learned about with battlefield 5 it never had a rush because huh battlefield not having rush I... yeah i see why the game failed so yeah, it, it needs to be full of content, and there needs to be a good amount of content there at launch, especially because there's also uh, a, a lot of very good chances the game's going to have free DLC as well. I'm pretty sure that was also rumor, rumored, leaked, and all that. You know, that's just another thing that's to be expected anyways with this being a AAA multiplayer game. Hopefully, it's just really good in quality, and it's not just used as an excuse to half-ass releasing free content or releasing free content you know content that was supposed to be there on launch day but was held back for the sake of being free dlc so long as that's avoided as well that would be pretty nice as old as it's starting to get there's probably going to be a battle pass there as well so in that case make sure that it's consumer friendly personally if, personally if it was up to me when it comes to microtransactions i would have no microtransactions at all but if I had to choose any form of microtransactions, I would just do it the way that Titanfall 2 did it. Here's this purely cosmetic item. There you go. Slap it onto your character, your Titan, whatever. Now now you've got a, a, a cool looking Titan, which you bought for like $3. There you go. You know, if all games just copied Titanfall 2's microtransaction system, and by that I mean if all games just copied Titanfall 2, and by that I mean if all games were just Titanfall 2, then gaming would be great. In other words, make Titanfall 3, guys. But... That's besides the point. So, yeah, that's another thing that needs to be handled well. And let's see, what else have I not already said 100,000 times already? In fact, I've probably already said everything I've just said in this video 100,000 times also. And I've, at this point, said 100,000 times 100,000 times. So, hmm, hold on, uh, gamers, my fellow gamers and gamerettes. 
uh, I need a moment to think about this. J j just give me like a, a five minute break, okay? Just five minutes. Yeah, no, I, I can't think of anything else. You were probably expecting all of this build up to lead to some sort of new idea for, for this video or just any Battlefield video that no one would have ever expected because of just how grand and iconic that build up just now was. But unfortunately, I couldn't think of anything else. So that's probably going to be at the end of the video. Just make sure it's a good game, guys. I mean, I'm sure you guys have learned from your mistakes, but yeah. Just, just have it be a good game. And I think I have like one more Battlefield 6 idea written out or typed out, whatever. I, I think it's just one more idea until the game gets um, teased or revealed. And then from there, uh, that that's going to be it for Battlefield videos for a while. At least for Battlefield 6. So in other words, EA and DICE, get to revealing this game soon. Because I need content, okay? I can only come up with ideas so often before I start running out of ideas and eventually I start running on fumes, okay? There's so many, there's only so many ideas I can have written down which I, I actually want to make a video out of and I don't just have typed out for the sake of having an idea there to make myself feel better about having no ideas to make videos about, okay? That's not projection! Stop insulting me! <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. I was having a mental breakdown. But there you go. That's the video. That's Battlefield 6 video number 2187. And with that being said, that's going to be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like or dislike, comment, um, subscribe for future content coming soon. I'm losing track of everything. Uh, or turn on the notification bell. I, I mean, uh, turn on the notification bell as well. Uh, set it to all notifications, of course. And I'll see you all next time. But until then, I'm out. Later.